and welcome back to Folk Muppet. I'm Scott and today I have a brand new Witcher build for you. This is our best signs or magic build that we could make. I just want to let you know all this footage is recorded on Death March difficulty, so it's all tested on that difficulty. So now, as you can see here, I am fighting these witch hunters basically to show you the power of this build. They vastly outlevel me and kill me with one shot. Now, this build is all about control and spamming the shit out of signs. We mainly focus on using Ard, Igni and Yurden to control the battle and deal tons of damage. Most battles will start with you casting the alternate version of Yurden, which helps control the field keeping enemies at bay. Then you use Igni to deal heaps of damage and clean up. Our other technique is fully upgraded Ard, which is absolutely awesome because combined with all the sign intensity of this build and all the Ard abilities, you end up getting a lot of knockdowns and therefore kills. And finally, we have the active shield for Quen so that we can recover health. I also just want to let you know the character I'm playing here has 222% sign intensity. This is including all of the abilities and the mutagens, plus the mastercrafted griffin armor set, but we'll get all into that soon. At the beginning of your playthrough, you're going to want to invest in the Griffin School Techniques ability ASAP, and you should only wear medium armor to benefit the most from it. With this, you have 20% faster stamina regen and 20% sign intensity added. A gigantic help early in the game, and straight after getting the Griffin School's Technique ability straight away, I would suggest that you start investing points in Igni and the alternate sign for Yurden. Those are the first things you are going to want to get, so that you can begin playing how the build is designed to play. Then invest in Ard and Active Shield Quen so that you can have more versatility in combat. After all, that is what this build is about, using different signs to make the build more versatile and excel at crowd control. That's important, because more often than not, crowds of smaller enemies can be tougher than one single large enemy. So here's the equipment and abilities in greater depth. Now on to the skills. So as you can see, we have 222% sign intensity. And how we get to this, I will show you now. First off, as you see, all the slots are all greater blue mutagens because we want to max out our sign intensity. So we have 40% in three of them and 30% in the other only because one of the ability slots has to be replaced with Griffin School techniques. So let's get started. We get far reaching odds, so we increase our range. We get the alternate sign mode for Ard, so we can strike all opponents in a certain radius. So we get this big radius to knock back. Um, it works perfectly on human enemies. And um, then we get Ard intensity, increases intensity by 25%, combined with that sign intensity of 222%. And then shockwave that increases damage dealt by Ard to 200. So with all that, what we can do is control entire mobs if we're getting swarmed by wolves or humans or ghouls, um, often smaller creatures like that. We can slam the ground with art and then knock them all back. And one of the best parts about this, especially just the uh, standard version of Ard, when we're fighting human enemies, it's a, it's a free knockdown. Most of the time you get a knockdown, walk up, stab them, done. Game over. Next we've got Melt Armor. Damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. And this effect scales with sign intensity up to up to a maximum of 75%, which we've definitely got. So then we've got Fire Stream, which is the best. It's the best boss killer. It is also, when we've when you've got a uh, high amount of stamina regeneration and sign intensity, it also works pretty good as crowd control. Only once you do have the final, final Pyromaniac, because that increases the chance of applying burning by 100%. So what you can do with Fire Stream is when they come to you, you can just sort of spray it like a flamethrower at three guys in front of you and set them all on fire. It works perfectly in that case. And then we've got 25% more uh, Igni intensity, plus we've got, like I said, Pyromaniac increases the chance to apply burning by 100%, which is also good when we use the standard version, because when we have a, a group of people, we can just go bang, one thing of Igni, and it sets them all on fire. So you feel like, you know... Roy Mustang or something from Full Metal Alchemist just going bang, sets them all alight. Now, one of the other interesting parts of this build is Magic Trap, Yurden Sign. Next, we have Magic Trap for the Yurden Sign. So within a 14-yard radius, it damages and slows all enemies. It destroys projectiles passing, passing through the area, and damage is increased by 50% by uh, for Yurden by the end of it, once you've got all ranks. Now, this is an excellent 
Another crowd control thing. A lot of this build, like I've said, is about crowd control, using Yurden to, you know, stun and keep away enemies, keep pressure off you. And then in addition to that, you've got Igni keeping them burnt and Ard pushing them back. And then so we've got Yurden intensity 25% just to make this even better and scale with our uh, already high 222% sign intensity. And then the last part for this uh, skill that we selected is active shield for the Quen sign. Uh, you know, it no longer dra drains stamina, just holding it open. And the best part about this is damage absorbed by the shield restores player vitality. So this gives us a recovery option in case we are absolutely getting hammered. So we can use this, get our health back, and then keep using our crowd control, keeping them at bay and slowly waning down their damage. And not even slowly as you can see in the video because Igni is pretty tough. And I've already mentioned this, but remember all footage in this video is on death march difficulty. And then the last skill we need, well, ability we need to pick is each piece of medium armor increases sign intensity by 5% and stamina regeneration by 5%. So that gives us, well, helps us get to the total of 222%. But there is another factor in this whole thing. Our stamina regeneration is going to be uh, further increased by our equipment. Now onto the equipment, the other part that gives us, that contributes to the 222 sign intensity. So this is how we got there. It's got a bunch of good effects, both the swords, high critical hit damage bonus, critical hit chance, chance to dismember, but the biggest parts are the Griffin Steel Sword Mastercrafted, 20% sign intensity, and 20% sign intensity again on the Griffin Silver Sword Mastercrafted. And of course, use all the earlier versions of these, get the Griffin gear as soon as you can, and focus upgrading it throughout your entire playthrough. And now for the armor, we have the entire set of Mastercrafted Griffin armor. So we've got 20% here, plus all the resistances there, another 10% from the gauntlets, 10% from the boots, and a 10% from the Griffin trousers. That combined with the Griffin school techniques gives us a shitload of sign intensity and a shitload of stamina regeneration. So we can be there, and as you can see in the videos, we're never really without signs. We regenerate straight away, so our stamina comes back, bang, sign, sign again, sign again. So that is all for our best magic signs build. We hope you enjoyed, and we hope that you will stick around for our other builds. We will have around four or more builds coming and they will be coming out at least weekly from this point on. So thank you so much again for all your support. Please check out our other builds. Do share this build around with your friends, your family, your neighbors, your neighbor's dog. Just anyone who would appreciate it. So thank you very much. Do check out all our other videos and please subscribe.